Uh oh, y'all caught me getting a sip of my coffee. Good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. This is Seven Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host, back from an unplanned, unexpected, unexpected, unplanned day off yesterday. But uh, feeling much better today. Um, listen, for those of you that left me messages, left me notes saying hi and encouraging, and, and uh, even those that just sent me your good thoughts, this way I appreciate that. Um, they were very helpful. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, yesterday I just took the day off yesterday. wasn't feeling that well. Had a little episode Sunday and got to spend some quality time with our local emergency room physicians. But uh, as I like to say, do what you do best and hire the rest. So I've hired some awesome doctors to figure out what the heck's going on. And we're going to let them worry about that. And we're going to get back to business right here. So that's what we're going to do this morning. And uh, hey, just a reminder also, uh, if you are listening on a podcast, either on uh, iTunes, uh, uh, Spreaker, Stitcher, TuneIn, any of those venues where you can pick up this show, you can also watch and participate live on Facebook. Go to TomRigsby.com slash Facebook. That gets you to the right place where you can be a member of the live Facebook audience while we're doing the shows. Uh, also, one other reminder, today is Tuesday. I am going to do uh, talk radio for entrepreneurs at the top of the next hour at 8 o'clock. I have an awesome set of guests this morning, Casey and Emily from Rocket City Digital. They're going to talk all things Facebook advertising, digital marketing, whether you are in Huntsville or not. This is definitely a show for you to tune into. To find that, you can go to talkradioforentrepreneurs.com and follow along with us there. So, good morning, Jeremy. Good morning, Keith. Uh, all of you that are watching, how you doing? Don't forget to leave your name and a little comment down there. Let me know that you're watching. Whether you're watching live or on the replay, doesn't matter. I still like to know that you were here today. Uh, so, this week... <laughs> Today is a part of this week. This week I had planned on, and still plan on, uh, talking about self-limiting beliefs. Oh, I know, tough topic. But uh, I think it'll be fun. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to pick a day later in the week that I'm not going to do to compress, or maybe I'll run over in the weekend. I don't know. But today, today I'm kicking things off with a quote from Mary Kay Ash. Awesome lady, founder of Mary Kay, and a pretty, pretty smart business person, too. She said, at one time, you can go as far as your mind lets you. You can go as far as your mind lets you. So, first, let's look at the converse of that, right, in terms of addressing self-limiting beliefs. That also means, if, if we can go as far as our mind will let us, that also means that we will stop where our mind stops us. Oh, okay. So then what is the greatest obstacle between you and your result that you're trying to create? Hmm, what could that be? Oh, that's right. It's yourself. Right? If we think, Henry Ford's got a great quote too. I don't think I'm stealing this from later in the week. Whether you think you can or think you can't, you're right. Whatever you think is what's going to happen. Right? So if you think, oh man, I, I can't ever get that. See, here, and here's how it happens. I can't ever get that speaking gig. Eh, so I'm not even going to apply. Boom. Self-limiting belief just cuts you off. You're guaranteed not to get it if you don't apply. Or maybe here's how it plays out. Oh man, that'd be an awesome speaking gig, but I don't think they're going to give it to me. Well, I'll send in my application, but I don't think I'll get it. And then you do a half-assed job on the application. Do you think you're going to get it? Nope. That's called a self-fulfilling prophecy. If I don't believe that I'm going to achieve that outcome, then I begin acting as if I'm not going to achieve it. And it is through those actions that I fail to achieve it. Right. So when we place our own obstacle in our way, when we throw down that log across uh, our own path, Right? That's our obstacle that we put in our way. Right? It's plenty, listen, plenty of other people are going to try and stop you. 
and we'll we'll talk about this at some point in the future. There are plenty of other people throwing rocks and obstacles out in the road. You don't need to help them. They they will do a plenty good job on their own. <laughs> they have all the help they need. You need to figure out how to get over those obstacles. As I say all the time, the difference between an entrepreneur and everybody else is we see opportunity where other people see obstacles. Why? Because other people stop when they come up on that obstacle. You're not going to do that, though. Because you can go as far as your mind lets you. If your mind believes you already have that speaking gig, you just need to introduce yourself to them so they know to choose you. Oh, that's a completely different way to look at it, isn't it? So when you approach that application, you approach it with a completely different emotional attachment to it also. You're not expecting that you're going to fail, so you just do a, a piddly job at it. You are making a grand introduction. I always think about, when I get to this topic, I always think about uh, what's that movie with Heath Ledger, A Knight's Tale, where uh, the guy, Chauncer, jumps up there to introduce me, makes this grand introduction, tells a story about him, almost better than the event itself, right? So that's the kind of introduction you make when you have the confidence that it already belongs to you, right? And all we did, all we did to change that, to change the words we were using to think about our chances. All right, your mind, your mind, you can go as far as you mind, as your mind, uh, you can go as far as your mind lets you. Apparently my mind's not letting words come out of my mouth today. All right, that's it for today. Thanks so much for being here. A couple of more good mornings before we go. Good morning, Joe, Nemo. Hey, how you doing? Jeremy, yep, yeah, absolutely. It's positioning, right? The way you, the same way that we position with other people, we have to position to ourselves sometimes, right? To prevent us from being our own worst enemy. Don't do that to yourself. As I said, plenty of other people out there trying to slow you down. You don't need to help them. You need to give it the gas and let it go. All right? Remember, 8 o'clock today, Talk Radio for Entrepreneurs. You can find that at Talk Radio. Oh, oh, yeah, Talk Radio for Entrepreneurs.com. Um, yeah, that's it. I'll be back here in the morning. Uh, that's the plan right now. Be back here in the morning uh, for another seven minutes in the morning with you right here, 7 o'clock, on uh, Tom Rigsby, the Unashamed Nonconformist. I think that's it for today. You guys have a terrific Tuesday, and I will talk to you tomorrow.